doing a deeper level of healing. This is, I would definitely say this is more advanced. The things that we did to get ourselves in the pit, that wherever we are, whatever space we have lacking is a pit. If we're lacking in joy, if we're lacking in peace, if we're lacking in um, um, gentleness, if we're lacking in connection to people, if we're lacking in finances, if any health, any area of life, we're lacking, that's a pit. You need to recognize there's a soil issue in that space that needs to be addressed because if you don't make that space even, if you don't make it not a pit, it, it there's you, you're not strong enough to withstand the blessing that is going to rest upon you. The 50 pound weight, you're not strong enough to carry it around. It would become a curse. And this is true. Blessings will always be a curse to those people who are not able to steward the blessing. Why do you think lottery winners within three years, the average is 85% of lottery winners who win a million dollars or more within three years are broke more than what they were before they won the lottery because they were poor. They were poor inside. They had a poverty mentality. They had a poverty spirit. Money will not fix that. They never worked on themselves. They were not strong enough to withhold that blessed to to sustain the blessing. They they couldn't uh, withstand the pressure. And if you cannot even focus on the end result for two minutes, you you need to recognize your faith is weak, not in a condemning way, but you just need to be honest. You need to take an honest assessment of where you are. If you don't have an honest assessment, so many people too are like. I did do that. I did break those curses. I said those prayers and I I did these things. I did forgive them. I did do this. The word says God will not be mocked. What that means is that his principles are true. If you're if you're walking around saying I did all of these things. I have done it. I did do that. I do think that. I do believe it. I I said those things. I did those things. I I know all of the things. You do not have a space to receive. In that moment, first of all, because you think you know it all. And second of all, God is not mocked. There is a spiritual principle you do not understand. And it because it's not resulting in the result that you want in the natural. There is something that you're not partnering with in the spirit first. That's like saying, my tree, my apple tree isn't growing any apples. It's like, okay, well, let's take a look. Did you water it? Yes. Is it getting enough sun? Yes. Um, are, are there any fungus or any kind of other thing growing on it? No, at least so many things that are going to cause it to not grow. Do you have any honeybees that are pollinating the flowers? No. Okay. Well, there's why it's not anything wrong with the trees. You didn't make the divine connection. You don't have a bee that can come around and pollinate those flowers. The, the, every single thing is figure outable when you understand the the principle, the spiritual principles. And a lot of people try to do it the other way. Like, well, I believe in Jesus. So now I should get, just get all of these things. Now all of these things are, should just be mine automatically. It's like, you're not excused from the rules of the spiritual principles. You you don't just get a shortcut just because you believe in Jesus. Does he want to bless you? Yes, but he's not going to bless you because you just think you deserve it. That's entitlement that, and of course you're worthy of it, but it has to come from a place of, of true identity, not from a place of poverty. Cause you understand that that type of thinking, I deserve it. Entitlement is poverty. The spiritual principles still dictate the natural rules. So in other words, that tree is going to grow, whether it's on the ground of a coven or on the ground of a church, it's the same. It, the, the one on the church isn't like, well, I'm planted on the, on the property of a church. I get the shortcut, make me big straight away. I want to see all of the harvest straight away. Uh, I don't want to go through any kind of pruning process. I don't want to go through any type of, you know, weathering process. I just want to be straight away and then nothing ever bad happened to me ever. Amen. That tree goes through the same process of growing, trying to get its own water, trying to develop its own root systems, just the same as the tree on on the coven property. The moment you stop looking for the outside thing who can i blame who can i punish who can i you're giving away so much energy so much of your power that could instead be used to break up tear apart all of that hard ground in your heart when you do that and by the way 
what's amazing about this process is that when you get rid of those rocky spaces, the thorny spaces, the hard spaces in your heart, that's not just for that one area. It teaches you how to do it again and again and again, because you surrender to the process. You 